Welcome to Nickback's Corner. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Evan Winter's Fire of Vengeance. This book was a five-star book. It was phenomenal. Um, if his next two books that come out in the series are as good, it's going to be one of the best fantasy series ever written, I think. He has done such an amazing job with building Tao up. Um, Tao in the first book annoyed me to no end. I didn't like him, but I enjoyed the storytelling that Evan Winter put forth. And um, Tao was an idiot in the first one. In this one, he's a lot more likable. The story moves at a much brisker pace. And he was very interesting to uh, pick up and just kind of go through because I have been wanting to read this since December when it came out. And I just have so many books on the go, it's been hard to get at everything, but I had so much fun reading this, and I'm looking forward to the next one. I hope it comes out this year or next. Um, but I, Evan Winter is a fantastic author. Um, we get to follow Tao and the Queen this time around, so we get to experience what it's like with uh, the Queen trying to regain her kingdom. And I feel like uh, Evan Winter didn't do everything at once. He just laid it all out really nice at a perfect pace all across the entire book. And it truly is something that I was blown away by. I was like, I've got 200 pages left. How is this going to get wilder? And it does. I also the entire time was like, okay, you two can now kiss. And uh, he kept the suspense going. Good on you, Evan. Uh, the first book around, I did not like your romance, what you did very much, but you did it. And uh, this time around, you did it better, more perfect, and I think it was uh, very well crafted and well done. I also really enjoyed um, the action sequence, the battle scenes in this, uh, the calling of dragons. Uh, it's just, it's a phenomenal book two in a series, and I couldn't get enough of it. In fact, I am so excited for book three that uh, I and just, I, I, I can't wait. It's going to be so good. I cannot see him stepping down in levels, and if he does, I'm going to be very sad because um, he has a high caliber and quality of, in his writing. And I appreciate and love that very much and look forward to what he's going to do in the future. Um, like I said, it was a five-star read. It was very easy reading, very jam-packed with power. Uh, once again, we're on the African continent uh, style of uh, fantasy. So it, it's got a lot of intricacies woven in about their societies and stuff. And I really enjoyed that. And... Uh, I look forward to more work by him, so I hope that you're all doing well. Thank you so much for coming to the corner. This was a quick one, and I hope that you take care of yourself.